Okay, here's a quick run through of how to do some basic uh, iframe HTML widgets in iAd Producer. Um, to do this, you can choose the HTML default they have. I prefer to use the blank, and I'll show you why. Um, so let's just launch the blank. You can double click that, and they'll set up a blank HTML or a blank widget page for you. You double click that, and right now you don't have anything. So let's go to the objects that you can insert. Um, and let's bring the inspector in. All right, I'm going to zoom out on this so I can see my whole page. Okay. Now, to do an HTML widget, you need the HTML object. I like this rather than the default page because I like to be able to define the size of the HTML box. Right. Um, you can do that a couple of different ways. Uh, you can control it a couple of different ways. But what you want to do is, um, in layout, you can specify the width and the height. So say for example I wanted it to be the whole page. If this is um, landscape it's 1024 by 768. Right? And I can click and I can bring that onto the whole thing. It'll give me the guides. Right? And that's if I wanted to do a full page landscape widget. Right? Which would make sense for uh, a lot of the iBooks things so you can play full screen for your for your students. Um, and now if I want to insert my HTML code I'll double click here and it'll say between these two divs, your HTML here, right? So we're going to basically paste over this. What are we going to paste over? Well, it depends on what you're going to do, right? Let's say uh, you brought the example of a Google form. Let's go to a Google form. Here's a Google form. And say I want to put this in my book, right? If I go into my edit view, right, I have my terms set up. I go down to File, Embed, and it's going to give me this. Now I'm going to change this here to 1024 by 768 to fit my box, right? Oh, sorry. Let me go back to that. 1024, 768. And now I'm going to copy this, right? And if I go back into IAD, here's where I'll paste it. Right? Now it says that iframe, right? I'll close this out. It'll ask me to save it. Or actually, the old version asked me to save it. And now you can see there's my form. If I preview it, it looks like so. Right? So if I took this widget, if I go back to iAd, I can now export it to disk. And I can put this widget, let's call this G form, to my desktop. And it's set for me to drag into an iBooks author project. So that's a Google form. Let's get rid of that. All right. Let's go back and let's get another HTML object. I'm not going to define the size yet. We'll let the application do that. Just a second. All right. Oh. Good enough. Okay, there you go. So now let's do it with a YouTube video. I have a blank widget page. I have an HTML object. Let's go to Safari. I did my Google form. Let's do a YouTube video. All right. In YouTube, under Share for videos, you have Embed, and they give you a uh, embed code, right? Now, a lot of times what they'll do with the embed code is they'll give you different video sizes. You can choose one that's appropriate. Um, let's say I do 640 by 360, right? That's going to change the code to that specification. 640 by 360. I'll go into my HTML object now. And let's make that 640 by 360, right? So this way, my iframe size is the same size as my HTML object, which makes a good deal of sense, right? I'll double click. I'll paste my code in. Now, one of the things that YouTube does, I don't know why, is they leave out HTTP colon from their, uh, from their codes. If we didn't put that back in, we wouldn't get this. But since we put it back in, there you have it. And now here's how it would play. All right? You can see that it'll play the YouTube video. All right? And now you can add content from YouTube to your iBooks. All right? So again, we'll go back out. We'll go to iAd. All right? And again, you go to File Export, and you can export this widget, drag into your iBooks author project. Third thing, what if you had another website? 
right? Um, you can't paste a web address directly into IAD producer, but you can paste an iframe. So um, I have this link, this online frame, iframe generator. Um, you can see the web address there, sevenspace.com slash webmaster underscore tools slash iframe underscore generator dot html. I find it very helpful to take any kind of a web address. So for argument's sake, let's say I had a Wikipedia page that I really liked. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you use. Um, doesn't matter which one I do. I mean, obviously you'd want better content than this, this necessarily, but any old web page will do, right? If I go to this online iframe generator, I can specify my height and width. So again, let's make it 1024 by 768. Let's say I do want a scroll bar, right? Paste in my URL. And now I generate iframe. There's my code. All right, I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it. I go into IAD producer. I get my HTML object. I make it the correct height and width. I paste in my code. And now I've got my page. All right, and again, this is how it would be viewed in your book. All right? You go back out into I have producer and you export it to disk. All right? So those are basically three main ways you can use web content for interactivity. Any kind of website, any kind of video content, any kind of Google Form content. Uh, very quickly and very easily. And I had producer. If you have any questions, please let me know.